always learn your market. I'm always telling y'all that. Learn your market and know the zoning of property you're looking at. This is Rick Jarman, Real Estate Old School. Today I'm going to use the example of my office building. I've had several offices over the years, but when I kind of scaled back from not having several real estate agents, I bought a little old house that was a foreclosure. It was on the market for forty nine nine. I got them down to forty three thousand. The bank loaned me fifty, so I had seven thousand money to pay closing costs and fix up. And a lot of people couldn't see the what I could see in this little old house because I'd kind of been watching the area. A lot of offices were starting to kind of move, and it was still kind of on the fringe at the time as far as offices. But I checked the zoning. It was on neighborhood commercial that would work for a real estate office. The house was built in 1950, all brick house, nice little, little lot. Had, uh, it's got 1,150 square feet in it. And uh, today, 17 years later, as of this past April, it's worth $186,000. But I recognized what it was. A deal doesn't have deal and a big old sign across the front. You got to know your market. You got to check zonings and no zonings. And that way you can find sleepers. I actually bought a house right around the corner from my office that the backyard joins the back of mine. I have a driveway cut in the back and a fenced in area. And uh, there's a barbershop in it. Cause this is own neighborhood commercial also. It was a foreclosure, bought about the same amount, high 40s, whatever, and it's worth basically the same thing. So know your market. You've got to learn your markets, but there are also studies on it. There's so much money can be made. You might be looking at a piece of vacant land that's on the fringes that you might could get it rezoned. I do that a lot. A lot of times you can start out with small pieces of property, lots or small track of land out buy it, make your money. Then you can turn it into a house to buy and fix up and flip or rent or whatever. Just helps you make a little more money. But if you don't learn that zoning and learn your market, you're not going to recognize it. So this office has worked out real good for us. I've got a picture of it I'm going to show you. Like I said, it was earlier today I took a video of the office and the building across the street that I sold them a couple lots because I started buying up lots in this area where my little office is because I knew it was going to get more valuable. And uh, this, this office that was built across the street from me, nice office. They bought two lots from me. And uh, there's another building down the street that I show you in the video that was in the office in 2003. And definitely mine was it, you know, because like I said, it was just a house. It, it's worked out real good for us. All because I knew my zoning and I knew my property base. You got to be able to look at it. You got to study it. I mean, study it. Go online, look at whatever city you live in and study that zoning. It is so important. So anyway, uh, it was sunny today at the office when I left when I took the video of my office and the building across the street and down the street. I get home and we got a little summer rain coming in here, so I'm sitting out here listening to it rain, smoking this cigar, making a little old video. I'll let y'all see the see what we got. See what you think. Well, this is the office. I'm going to give you the square footage and everything in a little bit. This is a building that's across the street from my office. That wasn't here when I bought my building. I bought my building in 2003. This is another office building that wasn't here in 2003. Actually, across the street, the new building was built. I actually sold him two lots. I'd been buying up the property. There's another building, an office that wasn't here in 2003. And around the corner, I own a building at a barber shop's in that was a foreclosure also. Making everything look awful green and pretty. Y'all know my wife loves her flowers. 
got roses starting to bloom. We planted the other day. Way back there in the back, she's got 66 double knockout roses. Anyway, this rain's good for all that. You can see the office there, and you've seen the one across the street, and down the street, and up the street. It's all gotten to be business now. So, like I said, the prices are just going to keep going up. You won't get one in there for 43000 today. Until tomorrow, I'll talk with you all later.